Hey peeps, Tyler here with Blood Air by Emily Wen Zhao book review. I apologize if I mispronounced her name. I read this in January for the Cancelathon or Readathon. It is an Asian inspired fantasy by a Chinese American author, which impacts the story. And I think I read it for the cancelled prompt because there was a whole thing with it. I'm not going to get into it because it's probably old news at this point. I'm just going to talk about how I felt about the book and I did really enjoy it. I found the writing mostly accessible. I've heard people mention it's a bit repetitive, which I could see, but it didn't personally bother me. The mostly accessible part is all the words and names I couldn't pronounce, which is normal in a high fantasy story. So, so words just became shortened versions of themselves to get me through the story. Otherwise I had no trouble with the writing and it flowed well for me. I fell in love with the characters. You have Anna and Ramson being the main characters. At times I wanted to smack them, but they felt like real characters to me with their own motivations, feelings, stories, and flaws. I liked seeing the side characters as well, all playing their part in the story and the world. It has been a while since I've read it, so that's why I'm looking at my book review, or my blog, so I can remember. I'll leave a link to that down below. The plot kept me wanting more and wanting to know what was going to happen next. Because you have Anna, who is an Aphanite, and they're reviled. She's the princess. I think she's a princess. Yeah, the crown princess. Their affinity is blood, which is rare. So she's had to stay hidden behind palace walls her entire life. Her father is murdered. The Emperor and her world is shattered, especially because she is framed as the killer. So she goes on a quest to find her father's murderer to clear her name. The world beyond the palace walls is far different from the one she thought she knew though. There's a bunch of corruption, a greater conspiracy, people hating Aphanites, they're treated awfully. And of course they don't know that she is the crown princess because she's been hidden away for so long. Ramson is a cunning crime lord of the Cerulean underworld. But he's a part of her ends up a part of her quest to try to clear her name. There were a couple of twists that I didn't see coming. In the second half of the story, I did not want to put the book down. There are deaths, lies, and truth hidden inside lies. The affinities are like avatar bending. There's plenty of action and feels. I don't remember if I cried, but I probably did. I loved the atmosphere and the world building. It was snowy. It has a map of the world of the book. Cities, forests, desert, animal spirits. The people have their deities and traditions. It was all weaved into the story and I loved it. The themes hit me in the feels. Trafficking of the Aphanites indentured servitude, fear of the Aphanites because they are different and controlling them. Anna is supposed to be a princess, but because she's an Aphanite, and everything I just mentioned, I cried, I laughed, I got very angry throughout the story, because I was supposed to. There are so many shades of grey, which I loved to see. Life is not black and white, a revolution, people fighting for their rights, fighting for goodness in a very corrupt world. 
There's Jaegers that are Aphanites with an affinity to control other Aphanites. They're used against their own kind. The entire book made me think and ask myself some questions. I really enjoyed it. I don't read YA fantasy a lot, but I do sometimes because I dip my toes into like almost everything. So I don't know how this really compares, but I really enjoyed it. I'm rooting for the romance, which is barely in the first book, but is still obvious. I look forward to continuing the series, but I will have to wait because there's no other books out yet. So, but I do plan on continuing with it. Some quotes, your affinity does not define you. What defines you is how you choose to wield it. Humans, it seemed, tended to fear things that were different. My child, we are but dust and stars. Do you think I have a choice? His voice was raw. In this empire, if I am not the hunter, then I become the hunted. She would never forget the way he gazed up at her, Jaeger and Aphanite in one, trapped in a corrupt system. You can achieve everything in this world, but if it's for someone else, it's pointless. Figure out what you want to do in this life. Live for yourself. We take what we are given and we fight like hell to make it better. The world doesn't exist in black and white, but I would like to believe that it is our choices that define us. There is good and bad in everything, Anna, and it is the good of this world that makes it worth saving. There was also some... Oh. No, I'm just being stupid. But... Yes, I gave it 4.25 stars. Really enjoyed it. If you've read this, let me know your thoughts down below if you want to read it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Hit the bell if you want to be notified of when I post. And have a nice day.